Hi, Alan Stratton from Eswood Turns. Many of you may have noticed that I've been on location for quite a while. Reason for that is I've been remodeling, redoing a house in Mesa, Arizona. It was a nearly a basket case and now it looks very, very nice. One of the tools that I used in that process is this screwdriver. It is a six in one, but re in reality it's a four in one to me. But it was very handy to always have either the Phillips or the straight and the large and the small screwdrivers whenever I need it. It's invariably I need one or both or always the opposite. So in commemoration of completing that project and now going home, I decided to make one. This is the same $3 screwdriver from Home Depot, but now it is its own Paduk handle. So let's make our own 4-in-1 screwdriver, the perfect gift for a craftsman. For this project, I glued up two pieces of paruk. I've mounted the timber between centers to rough turn the wood. The first task is to cut a tenon for mounting in a four-jaw chuck. Now for the drilling. I cut apart the screwdriver. Other than the depth needed for the driver bits, the critical measures are for the small piece of metal permanently attached to the handle. For mine, the hole needed to be 5 8 inch di diameter for about 1 inch in depth, then 1 half inch diameter to a total just over 4 and a half inches. In both cases, I used masking tape to indicate the target depth. With the drilling completed, I'll add the cone center to the live center and mark the hole depth on the wood. Then I'll cut somewhat of a broad cove using a gouge, then switch over to a skew to form the rest of the handle. With this simple shape, it does not take very long. Then sand up through the grits. I'll stop here at 400 grit. I'll use beeswax and mineral oil as both a sanding media and as a finish. Definitely cuts the dust. Then when I'm finished sanding, I'll also have my finish. Then part it off. Nice, I actually caught this one. Finally, I shave down a dowel to fit the metal piece. It will be a temporary handle so that I don't get epoxy on my hands. Then mix a little epoxy. Whoops, a little too much there. And dab a little inside the wood handle and a little more on the outside of the metal piece. Wait a little bit longer for the epoxy to harden and I have a nice looking and extremely practical tool. This could be made from many different woods or combinations of woods. A perfect gift that is not expensive and can be made very quickly. Perhaps a more advanced version would use eccentric techniques to make a handle that does not roll, but that would take a little longer. Please click the like button on this video and subscribe to both my website and YouTube channel. Always wear your face shield, unless you need a new hairline. Until next time, this is Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns.